For more than 20 years, attempts have been made to pedestrianise and revitalise the historic centre of Bucharest. However, political hesitation and public uncertainty have slowed the implementation process. Madeleine Dumitru, chief planner of Bucharest, has a vision. Well, about the first, um, the prima, In every the European body. city there is a historic centre, yeah. and this is a pride for the citizens and the local community. We want to have a historic centre like the heart of the city centre, especially because many of the properties were not connected to the public utilities, because there were many illegal people living there. And now, step by step, the buildings are being restored, streets are being repaved and changed their aspect. Prosperous business appeared and more and more people spent their evenings and weekends in this area. Bucharest's historic centre covers a surface area of approximately 50 hectares and is characterised by an irregular street pattern connecting various commercial and financial locations. Historically, it has always been a prosperous retail area, where people come to buy, walk around and be part of the city's social culture. However, during the communist years both thriving retail outlets and inhabitants were displaced. By the 1990s the area faced severe problems of neglect. In 2000 a major regeneration project was approved. The 35 million euro project consists of modernization of the underground infrastructure and pedestrianization and refurbishment of the historic city centre. Initially, access restrictions were introduced, which banned cars from entering the whole area. Although, in order to facilitate distribution activities, cars have now been allowed on certain peripheral streets. From the local decision-maker's perspective, the pedestrianization of the historic centre was not always seen as a priority, due to the fact that unpopular measures like car access restrictions and parking restrictions had to be taken as part of the wider scheme. Although most of the properties have been returned to their owners, the legal status of some properties adjacent to the streets is still uncertain. At the end of 2010, only 5 out of 14 streets have been regenerated and have been repaved with new amenities introduced. Despite initial problems, the area is now returning to its former status and prominence within the city. Whilst only about a third of the project is now complete, local restaurants and pubs are now flourishing and customer numbers have increased considerably. In surveys of local businesses, owners interviewed stated they specifically moved to the historic centre when they heard about the pedestrianisation plans. Bogdan Anikai, the manager of the restaurant Scarlet, explains. We strongly believe that the implementation of a new system in which people could walk, wander on the streets and see and experience nice places and restaurants could give them satisfaction and tranquility after a working day. Also, the idea to have a restaurant or a pub here follows detailed research which suggests that it is more than okay to invest here. Overall, despite the initial implementation problems and public resistance to the plans, the benefits for the local economy and inhabitants are beginning to emerge. When the full pedestrianization is complete, as planned by mid-2011, it is anticipated the area will be restored fully to its former glory and prominence within the city.